Okay. All right, so this is LaQueen Battle, um, Battle for Save Responder Services. Very much happy to be here today. I'm coming live from Harvard, you know, Harvard University in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Very quiet crowd. I'm talking about a very important but a very sensitive and personal issue. So I have my face mask. So shout out for you guys to continue to get tested to continue to get test, tested for COVID-19 as well as vaccinated, okay? Continue to get tested for COVID-19 and to get vaccinated, okay? Great. All right, so I'm going to talk about an issue right now that's going to be very important as well as a very personal issue to a lot of people in the movement, okay? It's talking about Black Lives Matter and abortion. Now, a lot of young people really do not know when they go to the rallies, when they, po when they protest against police brutality that is one of the main factors one of the main initiatives that the black lives matter movement talks about is po is um pro uh, protesting against police brutality that's just one of their initiatives another part of the black lives matter movement what they're talking about and what they're dealing with they're actually talking about support being pro-life, okay? Uh, one of the foundational uh, initiatives of the Black Lives Matter movement is pro-life, okay? Pro-life, they are pro, Black Lives Matter is pro-life, it is. Um, a lot of young people don't know that. There are many lobbyist groups that support Black Lives Matter, and a lot of young people do not know that, but these lobbyist groups out there um, I have a pro-life agenda, which is great. I think that, you know, it does have a positive connotation, but at the same time, it may also have a negative connotation because the uh, black community is very much liberal, at the same time does have very much conservative and biblical roots in standing for um, defending women's rights, but at the same time standing against um, abortion and protecting the family unit. Okay, so pro-life um, uh, agenda is, of course, of course, um, protecting family units, protecting family rights. Um, they're pretty much uh, pro against sexual reproductive health care. They are against birth control. They are against. Um, a lot of initiatives that um, Black Lives, a lot of young people in the Black Lives Matter movement try to, um, a lot of young people between the ages of 18 to 35, even going into 45 years old, have a very much liberal mindset that we want to fight against um, hate. But at the same time, there also is hate dealing with the pro-life agenda that also comes along with some of the lobbyist groups that support Black Lives Matter. So usually it's not really up in the sky, but there usually are a few times where I have been to some rallies here in the city of Massachusetts where I go to a Black Lives Matter rally and up above me is a flag hanging high in the sky saying pro-life. Black Lives Matter, protect the babies. So again, it happens all the time. They're not really known that much in the atmosphere, but um, they do have a certain, uh, there are lobbyist groups as well as other agendas put aside in the Black Lives Matter movement, which I think is great to come together as a community and say we want to fight against police custody. We wanna fight against hate. We want to fight against any kind of uh, authoritative um, difficulties that are, which are people have been shot, have been handcuffed, have been tased, have been murdered against cops, ruthless cops who have used the system against their control. So, of course, you're dealing with the cops, but you're also dealing with that same agenda that comes along saying we want to support the family, the, the black family movement. We want to build up the black family unit. We want to build up black families. We want to support black families. And so we, we support black fa families. We support movements. We support initiatives. So we want to do very much is what's best and needed 
to help with Black Lives Matter, okay? It's not really put out in the forward motion, out in the public, okay? Especially when you're going to a lot of these rallies. They're not really out in the front, but they are out there, okay? There are groups out there that support the pro-life agenda that come to Black Lives Matter rallies, okay? So you have to be very, very much in, involved in, around that and to know to separate the truth from the truth, okay? You have to separate a falsehood from the truth and figure out what you are really defending. A lot of, especially in my opinion, I am African American, but I support a women's right to access as well as a women's right to equal quality reproductive health care, okay? I also am liberal, but I also support the family unit. I support the family unit. I support building up black families. I support building up black families. I think that's fine, okay? At the same time, though, a lot of young people um, think, okay, I hate police. I hate the police. I hate that, the, that my friend, that my family member was killed underneath police brutality against handcuffing against the system. I hate that that happened to my friend or my loved one. I hate that. But at the same time, though, I still want to rebuild up back up again my family unit. And so there are a lot of community advocates, community advisors out there that say, we want to help you. We want to help you from what you're coming out from. We want to help you. And so a lot of these groups, a lot of these community advocates are pro-life, which is a good thing that pro-life people do support the Black Lives Matter movement. That's a good thing. But at the same time, though, it can also have a negative connotation when it's taken out of context and not really exposed to the truth that we are a pro-life agenda in the Black Lives Matter movement, okay? We have the money, we're gonna give you our lobbyist money in support of your movement. And sometimes that money is not all good money, okay? Not all good money is good money, okay? So not all good seed is good seed. And you have to be very careful especially when you're dealing with a nationwide global global network like Black Lives Matter, global, it's global all around the world. It's not just the United States, not just in Boston, but Black Lives Matter is global all around the world, okay? They're in different countries, they're in Germany, they're in France, they're in London, they're in Paris. Black Lives Matter is all around the world. But still though, still, a lot of the lobbyist groups that support the initiatives behind Black Lives Matter also have a agenda that is also put for a pro-life agenda, okay? It can be a good thing. They want to build back up the Black family unit. They want to support the Black family unit. At the same time, though, not all good money is good money, okay? Not all good money is good money, okay? Not all good seed is good seed. So especially when you're dealing with a very hurt and a very troubled community, okay? Especially when you're dealing with a very hurt and a very troubled black community who are already hurting from murder, who are already a black community is already suffering from the drugs, the drug happened in the 80s and 90s as well as black communities already suffering from the HIV epidemic. Now we're suffering under the police brutality uh, movement, okay? And we have to work on uplifting ourselves and uplifting our communities from, of course, police brutality as well as hate crimes as well as whatever it comes against us as a community, okay? So again, a lot of people do not know that there are a lot of people do not know that there are pro-life agendas within the Black Lives Matter movement, okay? But at the same time though, it can still be a very good thing. It can also be taken to a negative connotation, okay? It's great, like I said before, it's a great thing to lift up 
the Black Family Network, okay? It's, it's great to continue to support the Black Family Units, okay? That's great. You want to, to lift up the Black Family Unit. That's a great thing, okay? That's a great thing. At the same time, though, you want to continue to continue to continue to fight against any kind of hate crimes against anything that comes against uh, the black community and right now we still have to support of course reproductive health care and, re and sexual health care sexual health care reproductive health care that has been around for many years and years and years that the black community is one of the foremost in getting services through networks like Planned Parenthood okay which pro-life a lot of this pro-life agenda do not support Planned Parenthood, but they do support Black Lives Matter. So you have to figure out where does your money go, okay? Where does your money go, okay? So again, like I said before, not all good money is good money. Not all good seed is good seed. Not everybody may like you, but you have to figure out where do you go, okay? Who do I turn to for help, okay? I need help. My son was just shot. My daughter was shot. I don't know what to do. Who do I go to for help? What do I do? You still reach out to community advocates. You still reach out to support networks. You still reach out to people for help. I'm not denying, I'm not saying that Black Lives Matter is bad, okay? It has good things for the community. It has some very good things for the community. At the same time, though, at the same time, though, okay, there have been also lobbyist groups, lobbyist groups out there that that have the agenda behind a pro-life agenda, okay, a pro-life agenda, okay? So you have to be very, very, very careful about that, especially right now what we're fighting for and what we're defending for um, currently as the United States Department of Justice has just put a stance on what the state of Texas has said against barren people from getting equal uh, free transport to a clinic for abortion health care as well as suing any kind of public citizen ten thousand dollars in financial or any kind of assets in helping assist that individual in getting access transport to for um, abortion health care as well as suing a doctor, nurse, CNA, medical assistant, diagnosis technician, and MR, any kind of person in the medical field who assists in the treatment of abortion. Okay, mm -hmm. That medical personnel may also lose their license as well as even jailed in the assistance of abortion. And right now that has been dictated. You can find what I'm talking about in reference to on the Planned Parenthood website dealing with the um, dealing with the uh, Texas Texas State Bill law in motion. Okay, dealing with the Texas State Bill State Bill law. Okay, so a lot a lot of that a lot of people do not understand that they have very very much conservative means. I'm here at Harvard Harvard uh, cafe, cafe. So a lot of people still do not understand that. Okay, they do not understand that I'm going to a Black Lives Matter rally. So I'm free. I'm free to do what I want. I can be who I want to be. But you understand though, at the same time though, it may have a good connotation, and it may also have a negative connotation as well. Okay, so you have to figure out where do I go to as well as who do I get help and resources from. Okay, especially when you're dealing with a global network like Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter, like I said before, is not just situated in the Boston, the Massachusetts area, it's situated worldwide. So Black Lives Matter is a global wide worldwide network. It is a global worldwide network. Okay. Germany, Paris, London, South America, and even Africa. Black Lives Matter is worldwide. Okay, it's worldwide. At the same time, though, you have to be very careful about where they get their lobbying money from as well as what they get their support, supportive financial means from. 
where you get their supportive financial needs for, from too as well. So please, if especially if you are supporting any kind of movement, look on their website, figure out what kind of libraries groups support them, where they get their financial funds and means from, check them out because you will be surprised, very much surprised, where the money tank comes from, okay? Where that money tank comes from, okay? Now, Black Lives Matter is a great organization. It has done extreme amount of community network, community help, done wonders, amounts, great things for the community out there, fighting for rights, have judges, have lawyers, have attorneys, fighting for individuals' rights, getting them out of jail, fighting for freedom, protective custody, protective service, for people dealing with uh, any kind of criminal behavior, fighting against um, against the police system. But that is something that you pretty much have to do and you have to focus. Keep into focus. Keep into mind. Okay? Keep into mind. Okay? There are pro-life lobbyists that support Black Lives Matter. But you still have to figure out what you need to be doing and who do you support. What is your support and your financial means go to? Okay? Okay? All right. Where does your financial means and your financial protective, your, your financial means support go to? Okay? All right. So this is Queen Battle, Battle for Safe Responding Services. Again, a lot, of, a lot of things have happened today in D.C. Of course, you had um, the Department of Justice just pass a stance against, um, against saying that they do not support the efforts, the initiatives behind what the state of Texas is doing right now. They're trying to put a blockade on the state of Texas right now, as well as Governor Greg Abbott. Okay, but again, it's not going to happen overnight. The, the Supreme Court still had to go through the state of Texas back and forth again. So the, what happened right now in D.C. is not going to happen immediately, take into effect immediately. It's still going to have to take a judge by every single jurisdiction, by every single region in that state to say, what does this judge argue against the federal government? Do I support the federal government or do I argue against the federal government? What does happen region by region by region, state by state by state? Okay, it really depends, not just only Texas, but it's also other regional authorities too as well, okay? All right, so that's, like I said before, the law may not take into effect immediately. The DOJ is still going to have to argue and go before court and go before each and every single jurisdiction in that region and in that vicinity to say what does our region say against versus arguments against what the federal government argues against too as well. Okay? All right, so again, it's not going to happen overnight. Black Lives Matter is a wonderful organization. It has done so many things for the community, but you have to figure out where does that money tree go from, okay? What happens with that, too, as well? Okay, got my mask here. Got my mask, okay? All right, okay? So we have to figure out where does that chain go to, okay? All right, so this is a queen battle at Harvard University. Uh, main campus science building in Cambridge, Massachusetts, just one of the campuses that Harvard, Harvard University has. It's just one of the many, many campuses that Harvard University has. It's just one of the many, 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 many campuses that Harvard University has. Of course, they have many here in Massachusetts, in Boston, Longwood, here in Cambridge, Longwood Medical Center. They also have other facilities around the world that Harvard University supports too, as well. Okay, research initiatives that Harvard University supports. So there's a lot to do, and again, it's not, again, it's not gonna happen overnight. It is going to take some time, okay? The law is not gonna take an effect immediately, but it is going to take some time and effect, okay? Again, you can contact the Department of Justice at justice.gov as well as Black Lives Matter at blacklivesmatter.com. Any kind of supportive agency, Planned Parenthood is pp.org, as well as United, there's many other organizations out there, United, United Way, Salvation Army, um, many, uh, many American Red Cross, many other organizations that are nonprofit that still help and support young women 
as well as those out there that are going through difficult times and difficult transitions in their lives right now, okay, in their lives. So, again, the law is not going to happen going to effect. The law is not going to go into effect right now. It is still going to take some time. It is still going to take some time. Okay. It's not going to happen immediately, but it is going to take some time to come into effect. Okay, to come into effect, to come into effect. Okay, the GOG laws may not come into effect immediately, but it's going to take some time. Okay, all right. So this is Laqueen Battle of Battle First Aid Responder Services coming live here from one of the campuses at Harvard University in Cambridge, Massachusetts, here on my social media platform. Very happy to be with you guys and to continue to support the initiatives and the efforts. Of course, I do support Black Lives Matter, but at the same time though, you have to figure out where does that money chain go to, okay? Do you completely support the movement or do you support a little bit of the movement? Okay, it's gonna take some time, okay? All right, this is Laqueen Battle. Um, from Battle First Aid Responder Services, okay? Figure out where you go to defend your rights, defend your own liberties and your freedoms. We still have a lot to do. It's change is not gonna happen overnight. It is still gonna take some time, okay? The law of the land wasn't changed overnight. The civil rights, the civil rights legislation of the 1950s didn't happen overnight. It still took some time. It still took some time for these people to protest as well as to defend their liberties, to fight for their livelihoods, okay? It's going to take some time, right? So this is Laqueen Battle, Battle First Aid Responder Services. Please continue to keep me in your thoughts and prayers. You can please donate to me financially, PayPal, PayPal, Cash App, and Vimo, as well as you can email me anytime at battlefirstaid at icloud.com. That's B-A-T-T-L-E, the number one, S-T-A-I-D, at iCloud.com. All right. Please continue to keep me in your thoughts and prayers. All right. God bless you.